Hello and welcome back to the Old Gold and Black YouTube channel. I'm Tom Rouse and what a great victory yesterday. Backs against the wall. Really, really fought it out, grounded out, but came away from a tough match with a 2-0 win. And the fans buzzing at the end. A great goal from Matt Doherty to finish it off. Uh, but all credit yesterday had to go to the defence and in particular John Ruddy. Although he started off with a couple of mistakes early on, looking a little bit shaky. However... The save that he made near the end at 1-0 with his hat, he was diving, stuck one hand out, fantastic save. And he has shown himself to be a real key part of this team. Um, he's won us loads of points now single-handedly. And his reaction when Doherty scored and at the end of the game really showed what a massive thing this means to the players as well. In terms of the game then, Wolves started a little bit shakily. They were on the back foot for the first 10 minutes or so, but then Cavaliero with a great finish. Lovely ball through from Jota. The Redney defence didn't pick up Cavaliero and then he rolled his foot over it to take it past Manone and passed it home. It looked a little bit too easy. I was waiting for a flag to go up or something. It looked so simple, but... That's what we've got to get used to. Our players are a level above the rest of the championship and they're able to create chances like that and put them away. However, after that, after the first 15 minutes or so, Reading came really into the game and dominated, I'd say, probably the rest of the game. Uh, they had chance after chance. They, Our defence stood strong. We had the odd breakaway chance. Leo Bonatini, just before he got taken off, had a shot across the goal, which just went wide of the post. But Reading looked dangerous and looked as if they were going to nab a point from us. However, as previously mentioned, John Ruddy making a couple of good saves, Connor Cody making a good heading clearance late in the game as well. And then Costa coming on showed that perhaps this little international break, he's had a little chance to work a little bit more on fitness and he looked sharper yesterday than he did from the previous couple of months that we've seen him. And his jinking little run Led to Matt Doherty's chance. Doherty's turn was unbelievable, like Johan Cruyff or Hal robson Carnu for the Welsh viewers out there. And I took his opportunity like a seasoned striker. Fantastic uh, finish from him. And then, just generally the atmosphere at the end, I thought that the fans were... As the second half was going on, it was a little bit nervy and it looked a little bit as if Reading were going to pinch something. And Not that it was quiet, but it was nervy in that, in that away end uh, as the game went on. But then, the relief and the atmosphere then for the last couple of minutes and then the 15 or 20 minutes it took to get out of the ground. You can see my little video through the back of the stand. I think yesterday really proved where we are now because last season and many seasons before we'd have dropped points from that game but to come away and to have withheld all that pressure and then nick a second goal at the end shows the progress that we've made, shows the attitude of the team, shows that you know when we've got to defend we are able to defend really really well. And I'm really, really, I can't see, I can't really pick any faults from yesterday. Despite being on the back foot, I don't think we did anything particularly wrong. I think Ruben Van Agre showed a little bit of inexperience at times near the end when we were just trying to clear the ball and he was trying to play it out of uh, the penalty area. And that led to the chance that uh, Ruddy had to save. But, I mean, he's only 18. You've got to keep reminding yourself of that. And he, he showed some real good glimpses yesterday uh, of going past defenders and, and being an attacking fullback. Still top of the league, starting to build a gap now between us and third place. And now we look forward to a game against Leeds, who've started to stutter and stumble down into mid-table. They're 11th at the moment, uh, considering they were the early challengers uh, at the top of the table. They seem to have really fallen away. Cardiff dropping points as well yesterday. We've got to just keep on progressing, as Nuno says, and think, well, that game's gone. Once the whistle is gone, that's gone. Next game is Leeds. A little an extra day's rest. Now, uh, two leads as well because they're playing today. So hopefully we can capitalise on that. And then on Saturday we've got a game against Bolton, which of course, they are struggling down the bottom of the table. So hopefully we can pick up points from that game as well. Let me know what you thought of yesterday's game if you went. Also, a question for you all. The Punjabi Wolves bring their doldrum for a, some away games. They're not allowed it in the ground all the time. They were at Manchester City and they were at Nottingham Forest. I don't think they were allowed it in the ground yesterday. I only heard it outside the ground. Would you like it at the Molyneux? Do you think it would enhance the atmosphere or do you think that sort of drums and bands like the England band sort of bring the atmosphere down a bit and sort of create a phony atmosphere. Let me know what you think down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you 
uh, on Wednesday night after the Leeds game. See you. Goodbye.